I woke up uh, today and I was like, huh? Uh, I guess allegedly Jeffree Star has been sleeping with Kanye West. Jeffree Star is trending again. This time he's responded to the wild rumor that he and the one and only Kanye West have a romantic thing going on. In his brand new video, Jeffree denies these claims. All these news people, like, wh what do you have to say to th about this? And I'm like, about what? What? I'm single, I'm not sleeping with anyone. Like, this is so weird. Prior to this, Star posted a pic on his social media platforms with a caption, I'm ready for Sunday service, a clear Kanye reference. Not to mention, he's reportedly in Wyoming. Jeffrey, who's amassed almost 17 million subscribers and is the CEO of his popular makeup company, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, also previously avoided answering questions about the topic when talking to Drama Muller. He said, I'm having the best time in Wyoming, come visit sometime. There was no evidence to back up these wild rumors, though they were just started by a girl named Ava Louise. Now that Kim's finally doing this, I feel like I can spill the tea that I've been holding on to for months. This whole divorce comes as no surprise. Kanye's been hooking up with a very famous beauty guru. Male beauty guru. A lot of people in the scene have known for a while. However, Jeffrey is no stranger to drama. He has a long list spanning the years, always keeping fans and non-fans alike talking. A lot of which include his famous feuds. I've never seen this much controversy go down in the makeup world in a long time. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today I'm gonna give you guys a recap of some of Jeffrey Star's most famous feuds. He's had beef with so many people so it's impossible to cover them all but I'll be going over some of the most recent and the most memorable. And hey, in light of these Kanye rumors, let's not forget all of Jeffrey's feuds with the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Like he even had one with one of the little kids in the family. I wonder if there are any connections here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We need to stop somewhere later because guess what? what? I don't have any setting spray. Did you bring yours? But it's still in Amsterdam. <laughs> Starting with another famous beauty YouTuber, Nikki Tutorials, who was also BFFs with Jeffrey once upon a time. Back in 2017, the two ended their friendship over some unfair collab contract Nikki had with the makeup brand Too Faced. It was said they cut ties on a press trip to Necker Island with Benefit Cosmetics. In 2018, the drama continued following the release of a controversial product from Tarte Cosmetics. The brand's new foundation line only offered three shades for women of color and Nikki did a review on the line completely overlooking this. While Nikki apologized to fans and removed the vid, Jeffrey had something to say. Beauty YouTuber Nikki Tutorials deleted her entire Shape Tape review. And I was like, whoa, what is going on? But I think that it's very important that when you do have a huge platform like Nikki with over 8 million subscribers, you do have a choice to really talk about something and bring it full forward. Because yes, girl, they may have had your shade, but half your audience didn't have their shade. At the start of 2020, it seems Jeffrey and Nikki squashed their beef when we saw this tweet. Now to the most recent mini feud that Jeffrey has had with one of the Kardashian Jenners and one you may not expect, Mason Disick. This would also make him the youngest member of the fan for Star to clap back at, but let me explain. In spring 2020, screen recording show Mason was live streaming himself on TikTok and said, Does Jeffrey stars like spoiled AF? <laughs> In a since deleted tweet, Jeffrey responded saying, I had $500 in my bank account six years ago. Maybe he's confused with his own privilege versus mine being self made. Hopefully, his father can educate him soon. I mean, I'm not siding with Star and dissing a 10 year old, but the man does have a point. Anyways, that was that. They're dry, right? Huh? They're a little dry. A little dry? dry. You're allowed to be honest. It's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a review. It's okay. Just because someone's famous doesn't mean their products have to be great. Okay. Keeping the feuds in the family, who remembers Jeffrey's drama with Kylie Jenner? It was a well known fact that Star loved throwing shade at Kylie's brand, Kylie Cosmetics, whether in his product review vids or on Twitter. Back in 2016, when Kylie released her lip glosses, there were angry customers over what looked like a faulty applicator. And of course, Jeffrey had something to say. In his past tweets, we can see that Jeffrey went went off about Kylie Cosmetics, but it would take more to crack Kylie. At one point, he even reviewed her brush sets. This is, um, I call it vegan leather. It's like a plastic faux leather. It's obviously not real. And this does feel very cheap. So I'm gonna start the review off by saying, this feels like it's from the Dollar Tree. Just being 
in 100%. As you can see, the Jeffree vs. Kylie beef was basically all about makeup. Maybe just some healthy competition. Oh, and she also copied his packaging at one point apparently. Jeffrey had this to say. I gotta know one thing, with all of that effing money she's made, why did Kylie Cosmetics use the same packaging as my liquid lipsticks that have been out since 2014? Invest and make something different maybe? You gotta wonder, what the f is going on around here? You already know that Little Mason and Kylie weren't the only Kardashian Jenners that Star came for. A few years back, Jeffrey also went in on Kim when she posted swatches for her KKW powder contouring kit. Basically, Kim K went on her Snapchat and she was swatching her powders. And I woke up that morning and the internet is so funny. Like, y'all are crazy. My whole Twitter feed was, Jeffrey, what do you think about the powders? Oh my god, they look crazy, they look insane, why do they look so dry? Like, the whole, uh, my whole feed was nuts. Star took to Twitter. Um, Kim, what is going on with those new swatches? Looks like chalk. Say what you will, but he does know his makeup. Kim ended up posting on Snapchat to defend him against her fans coming after him. I welcome honest, you know, comments about my products and because of it, I'm swatching better now, so. So everyone get off his ass and let's not be so negative. We're all in this together. There's room for all of us. Love you, Jeffrey. While the internet had a bit of a field day with this feud, it wasn't really a big deal. Jeffrey did an honest and fair review of Kim's KKW contour and highlight kit, and there was no more drama after that. However, if Jeffrey was the reason for Kim and Kanye's divorce, that would be a different story. Okay, so that's it for now for Jeffrey and the Kardashian Jenner family, but I'm gonna throw a couple classic feuds in here. This is the Kat Von D. What was this called? This shit is so old. This is the Shady Bronzer. Hmm? Fitting. One of the most notorious Jeffrey feuds has got to be the one with Kat Von D, who were actually friends for a decade, and she even helped star with his makeup line. The beef between these besties began in 2016 when Kat exposed Jeffrey for not paying his graphic designer for the work he did for him. If you do not know the scenario, basically two summers ago, my brand was skyrocketing, Kat Von D was stagnant, and she decided to cross out my face and um, let the internet know a bunch of crazy lies. Kat then announced on Insta she was done with Star and released a video exposing him. Honestly, Jeffrey, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you are now. I mean, as far as your makeup line goes, and I think I mean, maybe you would do it some other way, but you definitely wouldn't do it at the capacity that you have been. So it's a long story, but Kat had a ton of reasons why she didn't want to be Jeffrey's friends anymore. He also posted a video explaining his side of the story. Is she for real? Like, this can't be what's happening. And I was so saddened. Someone that I'd cared so much for to betray me like that was just awful. But like I said, it's a long story. So let's move on. Now James Charles is back. Hi, baby. Hey, now today is going to be crazy. I am very, very excited. <laughs> Jeffrey texted me yesterday. He's like, do you want to burn some things? And I was like, sure. Kind of. <laughs> While Jeffrey was friends with fellow YouTuber and makeup artist James Charles once upon a time, this relationship went the way of Manny MUA, Laura Lee, Tati Westbrook, basically like most of Jeffrey's friends. It was once a mutually beneficial social media based bond that crashed and burned. While the Jeffrey vs. James feud timeline goes on and on, it began when the James vs. Tati Westbrook drama was trending. Jeffrey added fuel to the fire with this tweet and moved on to slam James's brother Ian. Jeffrey's merch production company also dropped James's label Sisters Apparel as a client. After all of this, Jeffrey ended up apologizing about how he was towards James and said his accusations were based on rumors. This was a huge wake up call to reel me in because I have been really healing myself. I'm in such a good place. So for me to digress and go back to Jeffrey from years ago, I'm embarrassed of myself. And when you thought it was over, last year Tati Westbrook returned again with claims that Jeffrey and Shane Dawson were the ones instigating her feud with James Charles and that they manipulated her. While Jeffrey posted another apology video to James, I feel like this particular feud is never ending. Did I slip up? Am I human? Have I done some fucked up things? Of course I have. But at the end of the day, today, once again, I will not be exposing anyone. For everyone saying Jeffrey's gonna be coming with the receipts and we all need to be, be get ready to forgive, that is the opposite of who I am. Before I wrap up this video, one of Star's latest controversies may have been one of the most intense yet since it caused a dispute with his very loyal fans. On May 15th last year, the YouTuber unveiled his new cremated makeup line, a collection of gothic neutrals. It may be hard to see with the beauty lights, but this is what Vic was wearing earlier. 
Such a unreal combination. Jeffrey explained the palette's name saying, cremated is like my iconic catchphrase. You know when you're blown away by something and it's so sickening? While many fans were excited over the release, others were less pleased and felt the theme of the products was offensive and inappropriate given the current global pandemic, which caused a huge number of deaths worldwide. Jeffrey responded to the backlash on social media with a number of videos and said, there's a lot of talk on Twitter. The palette is mine, I created it for the world. It's a to be interpreted any way that anyone wants to take it, but I always come from a good place. He continued to explain himself, but since then nothing more came of this. So there you have it, a list of some of Jeffree Star's famous feuds and drama. This isn't all of them, not even close, but I don't think it would be possible to fit them all in in one short video. What do you guys think about Jeffree's feuds? What about the whole Kanye situation? I guess all we can do is take Jeffree's word that it's only a crazy rumor and see what unfolds next. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe and follow me over on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all next time. Bye!